Now that I'm into Hub, I'm going to navigate up here into organizations. Under organizations, I have one organization called UAP. But now that we're looking at the organization, we have members underneath here. We have two members. We can also take a look at our teams and our repositories. These repositories live underneath this organization. You can also view activity, who's pulled and pushed, those type of things. And then we have a new setting underneath the settings tab for your org permissions. This is where you'll find image access management. As you can see, it's disabled right now. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it. If you noticed here on the organization images, all these images will always be accessible to your organization. So I'm not able to, to turn this off. So any developer that's a member of your uh, organization and then put into a team, they'll have access to all of your repositories that live in this organization. The next two big settings are Docker official images and Docker verified publisher images. Our official images are some very popular images out there. So I'm, those are the two I'm gonna look at first. So right now I have them restricted and let's jump over. We're gonna go into hub. Let me go into another screen and I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for node. So nodes here, it's an official image. You can see by the green icon. So let's click in there and I'm gonna get the command to pull this image down. So I'm just gonna copy it there. Jump over into my terminal, paste that in. So I'm gonna do a Docker pull node. So that's gonna go out to hub and try to try pull the official image down to my local machine. And there we go, access has been, has been denied. It's saying I need to log in, I'm already logged in. Let's double check that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna log out and then I'm gonna log back in. And I'm using another account that's in this organization. Let me just show you. So you make sure I'm not using a verify that I'm not using a crazy account. So there's this user that I'm using and they're a member of the sales dev team. Okay. So jump it back in. Let me log in. Okay. We're logged in, clear the screen. I'm going to go ahead and try and pull again. There we go. Access is denied. That is what we expect. Let's go into the organizations. Back in the settings, org permissions, and there we go. It's turned off. Now let's take a look at the Verify Publisher images. It's also been restricted. So MySQL is one of my favorite databases. Let's click on there, and I'm going to click this checkbox right here, Verify Publisher. I'm not going to use the Enterprise Edition. You have to pay for that. So let's use the Circle CI MySQL from Circle CI. And you can see it has the Verify Publisher icon. And again, here's the pull command. Let me copy that. Jump back over my terminal. Let me clear the screen, paste the command in. So again, Docker pull pulls down an image from hub to my local machine. And there we go. I've been denied. So let's go ahead and turn those back on real quick. And then now we can jump back into the command, into the terminal, and I'm going to pull no down. There we go. It's been pulled down. Now you'll see it says already existed. I work a lot in Docker, obviously. So that image has been cached, not accessible, but just cached. And so I was able to pull that down now. And let me pull down the Circle CI MySQL image. And there we go. It's pulling it down. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that for for time's sake. One more thing. Let me let me remove all the images I have locally. We have no images locally. And so I want to show you how when I build an image, the same restrictions apply. So jumping over to my code, I have a little Node.js application. I have a Docker file where I'm gonna build an image for my, for my application and I'm using Node, the base image, okay? And if we come back in here, here's Docker official images. Let's turn that off. And I'm gonna turn off verified publisher images also. And again, here's our Node, here's our Docker file using Node back on the terminal. There's our Docker file and let's just show it. Okay, let's clear that. I'm gonna do a Docker build called a widget service. I'm gonna build in a local directory. And there we go. I've been denied access to that official image. So my build fails and that's what we expected. Of course, if I came back in here, turned it on and redid a build, everything would be fine.
Okay, I'm going to turn those back on. And there's one more category of images I wanted to talk about called community images. So we talked about organization images. Those are your images that sit underneath your org. Developers in your org will always have access to them. Official images and verified published images. These are our premier content that we have on Hub. Everything else that is public on Hub is considered a community image. Those images are always restricted when you have access image access management enabled. So if I disable it, you can see you can now pull community images, but when it's enabled, they're always restricted and I cannot turn that off. Okay, so those are the new features we have in image access management.